Hi guys, so uh, here I'm back with another simple React app. So let's first uh, take a look at the folder structure. So it's a basic React app structure. Now let's take a look at app.js. So here you can see that I'm using the router for various routes. So let's first get into the default route, which displays the feedback form. So this is basically a simple uh, feedback form app, which I've, which I've created. So here you can see I'm using function-based components, right? So let's first take a look here. So this is basically a simple form that I'm displaying here. You can see. This is a simple form that I'm displaying here with various values like uh, email address and customer name and phone number and all such things. We'll take a look at how it looks in the front end. So basically this is uh, the validate form. So if in case uh, some fields are left empty, then an alert message will be displayed, right? And I'm calling this, uh, if I'm submitting the form, then first I'm calling the validate form function here. Then what basically happens is that I'm storing all the data in local storage. So uh, all the data that I've entered, I'm storing it in local storage, right? So first here, uh, I'm basically getting all the entries from the local storage, storing in the existing entries variable. Then I'm checking. If it is null, then I'm going to set it as an uh, empty array. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice that entry and I'm going to uh, find out the ID of it, of the last entry in the list and then i'm going to increment it because i need the id to store uh, the new entry right now uh, when i have the id then i'm just going to push it into this right so this is basically a fairly simple feedback form i'll put the link of my github uh, I'll put the GitHub link in the description. You can check it there. Now let's move on to the submissions. So this is basically what all submissions have been done, like what all feedback uh, forms are being submitted. So this is a fairly simple uh, display, which is going to you know display all the submissions, right? So this is the same for the single entry and this is the same for multiple entries for for example if i'm going to click on a single submission then this will be invoked but if i'm just viewing all the submissions then this will be invoked right so this is basically all the submissions here if i'm checking for a single submission then this function will be invoked let's check this function so it's basically single entry name email phone and all that right so you can check that i'm updating the state here and all that i'm taking the entries here from local storage right now so basically here i'm checking right if if the url includes submission then i'm going to set display to true right and what's going to happen is I'm going to basically find out what ID is in the URL. So if there's a single entry, then it will have the ID of that single entry in the URL, right? And then I'm going to filter from all entries and then I'm going to set the single entry here and the single entry will be displayed, right? But in case there is uh, no uh, ID in the URL, then I'll be displaying all entries, right? So now let's uh, take a look. So this is a form that will be displayed here. I've just filled the details to save time. Then I'm going to submit review. Then it's going to show me this um, thank you message. I'm going to close it. And then you can see that all the submissions are displayed here, right?
so if i'm going to click on a single submission for example i click here so in the window will uh, another tab will open and i can see all the details here uh similarly this also you can check right like if i leave something so it's going to tell me that you know you should fill it here right so let's just do it you can see that it is an invalid email so i have to put correct email right now invalid phone number so it has to be correct now all these fields right and only then i can submit my form now this data is basically stored in the local storage so you can see now all right that was it